happy evening. <sighs> How was your day today? Mm, just sinking in, welcoming into this space, this beautiful space of God is my business plan, the space where we drop in. We work with our spiritual team and we create success in our businesses so that we can go out and impact the world. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, it feels like the big bowl is the bowl for the night. You ready? I want you to take a nice deep breath in. I want you to allow the sounds of the bowl to move through your body to recalibrate your nervous system. At the end of a day, let's recalibrate. We're gonna bring it back into wholeness. <laughs> So from this beautiful space, we're going to do a drop in the sacred creative process. Take a nice deep breath in. Dropping into your body, all the way into your lower belly, softening your heart, softening your heart. We're going to pour this beautiful light through you from the top of your head, all the way down to your toes, cleaning, cleansing, clearing the pathway creating beautiful shields of light around you, sealing it up at your toes to protect you, to infuse and insulate you with light. We're gonna call in all of our spiritual team, our board of our directors, our guides, our angels, those who are here to support our work, our purpose, our gifts. We're gonna invite them in, in and through the divine light to come and sit with us, to support us, to guide us, to hold this space and to open up pathways of miracles. We're gonna ask that light will touch our ears, that we will spiritually hear what needs to be heard tonight. The light will touch our third eyes, we'll have access to all of our spiritual gifts. We can see, hear, feel, and know. Ask that light will cleanse our lips, that we speak only what needs to be spoken. Breathing in. Breathing out. All right, so now that we are here, what are we gonna do tonight? Mm. All right, so this, the word compassion, compassion. Mm, compassion, let's bring compassion in. And this is a really important piece to running business because we get to have compassion on ourselves when we make mistakes. We get to have compassion for others who make mistakes. Compassion softens the hard edges. Compassion opens up and keeps your heart vulnerable. Compassion is what's gonna keep you from walling up. And remember that when we wall up our heart, we wall up the free way of receiving. We wall up love, we wall up receiving abundance, we wall up receiving new clients. When we close the heart down and we wall up, nothing gets to come through. Compassion softens the heart, opens the heart, opens the highways. Now, before we can have compassion with anyone else, we have to have compassion here. So let's drop in and see how can we have compassion today with ourselves regarding something in business. So I want you to think of something in your business that you feel like you made a mistake, you feel like you didn't do it well enough, you didn't do it good enough, whatever it is. 
We're gonna pour this magical light through your heart, this divine light. It's gonna soften your heart. Softening, softening, softening. All right, so we're gonna take this situation that you feel like you didn't do it good enough, you made a mistake, something like that, right? You're gonna put it on the altar and I want you to stand back and I want you to look at it not attached to you. So whatever this thing is that you did or didn't do or didn't do well enough or failed, I want it to detach it from your energy. Now I want you to imagine if you could pull out of your body and look and like be like a team to you, right? You're gonna be out of your body looking at you and this item. And I want you to see it with compassion. Like if you were to go and see your best friend and your best friend told you that she failed at something or that he didn't do it right, you wouldn't just judge them and make them wrong. We would never do that. We would never be like, you are right. You totally suck. <laughs> we would never do that. I mean, maybe someone would, but the majority of us, we're not gonna do that. And yet, how we treat ourselves is so different, right? It's very easy to tell ourselves, oh, you sucked at this. Oh, you didn't do a good enough job. We would never treat anyone else like that. So we're gonna pull out of our bodies and we're gonna look down at us and this situation. And then I want you to just feel like wings unwrapping from your heart, compassion. And it's gonna come and wrap you in compassion. So palms up and you're just going to wrap yourself in compassion from this divine higher version of you, wrapping the current version of you in this compassion. And I want you to just close your eyes and notice that when you are wrapped in compassion, that the compassion wings that hold you, they just start to go in and clear out the shame. They go in and clear out the doubt. They go in and clear out the clutter, the noise, the mess, all the way down to the soles of your feet. And the compassion wakes up. It wakes up your gifts. The compassion creates safety for your gifts. The compassion creates safety for a new action to take place, a solution to take place. So we're gonna open up our palms and you're gonna ask, is there an action or a solution that you need right now? Do you need to take action on something or do you need to hear a solution? I want you to open up and receive. Now, if it's an action, you're gonna ask, all right, God, what is the action that I'm supposed to take? I want you to get quiet and I want you to listen. What is the action I'm supposed to take? You're gonna receive it, you're gonna write it down. You're gonna ask your angels to come in and be able to help that happen. If it's a solution, you're going to ask for the solution. So open up your palms and ask to be shown the solution to this problem. When you receive it, you're going to write it down. You're going to call in your angels and ask them to please help this solution come to, come to life. So I want you to close your eyes again. And I want you to look at your body. And there's this really deep green it's a really deep green it's a mixture between um like a laser light and it's like a ribbon so you're gonna take a deep breath in and this green ribbon or this green it's like not a laser light it's like a it's like this really soft light that pours over your body this green light is gonna pour over your body or the green ribbon is gonna weave throughout your body. And I want you to feel as the green ribbon or the green light is moving throughout your whole entire body, just this deep grounded compassion. 
you to feel the grounded compassion move down through your body, helping you land in your heart, helping you land in this openness, allowing you to be open no matter what, no matter what fears are there, no matter what pain you're afraid might show up, being open and vulnerable. And having compassion on yourself creates a safety for these open places. So breathing in. Breathing out. We're going to do it again. And this time I want you to just feel the cells inside of your body wake up. Breathe out. Final breath in. So now we're going to ask that all of your angels will be able to open the pathways for compassion, that it will be easy for you to have compassion on yourself, that you can have compassion for who you are, the mistakes you made, and all the other things that we get impatient with ourselves on or that we shame ourselves or judge ourselves. Tonight, we're going to just feel compassion. So why don't you just breathe in. And let this compassion move throughout your body, moving, ebbing, clearing, making new. There we go. Just deep breath out. All right, my dear friend, I'm going to wrap you in so much love, so much compassion, and so much light as you step forward tonight, tomorrow, and allow your heart to continue to expand allowing your heart to stay soft and open. Mm, beautiful work tonight. I will see you in the morning.